Hey there guys, welcome back to All Things Apple Plus. Coming at you guys with a new tutorial video on how to get the Provenance app, most, most known for running your N64 ROMs on your iDevice for free. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show off the, uh, the emulator really quick. Cool thing about this emulator is on the other side note is that it also plays some of your GBA ROMs. So if you are looking for an emulator to play some of your favorite classics like either Pokemon or Super Mario Brothers or Golden Sun or whatever, what have you, you can use this emulator as well and it runs just as perfect. So as I'm showing off the emulator, you can notice that the emulator runs and is like it's pretty flawless within the game speed. I, I believe that there, I haven't seen any sort of glitches, any sort of like stuttering within the app at all. We've come a long way from, from a long time ago from being able to use N64 on our iDevices and it, it just, this makes it just, uh, it makes the experience so much better when you have a, a game running at normal speed versus way back in the day, we can only, you know, get maybe a couple frames per second. So the only thing that I do have a con about with the application is just the finger button layout, but that's something I'm going to go into later a bit. But first, let's go ahead and talk about how to obtain and download the application to your iDevice. You're going to go and navigate into Safari and look up iEmulators.com. Search for that. And if you notice that as I'm scrolling through, they have a plethora, a ton of emulators, ROMs, games that and just applications that you can download onto your device i'm actually going to delete provenance and show you guys that it is working and you can download provenance uh, without any sort of issues so like i said they have a ton of applications that you can download and put onto your device that you wouldn't find in the app store so when you do navigate to provenance and you find the application you're going to want to choose the beta version not the normal but the beta version of it and download and install onto your device and once the pop-up or once that pop-up comes up, hit install. It's not a big, I'm running this on LTE, so it's not even, and I have a little bit, you know, I have a I'm pretty close to full bars. It's not even a big download size. So the emulator doesn't take up that much space. It's the ROMs that you add on if, as you're continuing to add on ROM after ROM after ISO that it will start to take up memory. So we have the emulator on our device. How do we get the games on to our onto our emulator. Well, we're gonna to need to navigate back into Safari, and from Safari, we're going to move out of iEmulators, and what I would recommend to get a ROM is to Google search N64 ROMs. And any main site that comes up from that Google search will provide those ROMs for you. It's not incredibly hard to find a ROM nowadays. I'm just gonna go into Love ROMs. It's honestly the first site that I'm seeing right now and again most of these sites have a ton of ROMs that you can download so like I'm seeing 007 so that's even a classic that I might get soon so under their search bar let's go ahead and my favorite let's go and type in Smash Bros awesome so it will bring up a list of the different Smash Brothers we're gonna go ahead and download the very first one for N64 We'll scroll all the way down until you see the green download now button. And as it's downloading, the game is, or the ROM is actually downloading in the background. Safari and the iOS version of Safari, or just even Safari in general, excuse me, doesn't have a download manager. So you won't see the progress of that ROM being downloaded. But once you finish, once it shows that it's been downloaded, you can open up in Provenance and then you can start to run the game right then and there and it runs again like i said in the beginning it runs flawlessly it runs really really well the only con that uh that i do have a problem with though is the button layout and with the button layout what i mean is it's hard especially for these types of games these action games where you're constantly playing or where you're constantly mashing buttons like as you would on an n64 controller to mimic that on an ios device so you would need and i'm gonna try this out i i can't confirm this yet is I'm going to try to find a wireless Bluetooth controller, or not wireless, but just a uh, Bluetooth controller that I can strap onto the uh, onto my iPhone and play the game through that way, because that makes it a lot easier versus having to play it while you're tapping the screen. It's just, it's a little bit tough. So yeah, this game, 
brings back so much memories. I'm glad to be able to install this onto my device. So this one, this emulator is gonna be sticking on my device for quite some time. Now, when you download this application, make sure that you also download Nest Tool. And I will be leaving a link in the description on how to download Nest Tool. If you haven't checked it out yet, this is pretty much what the app looks like. Just helps uh, keeping your apps from being revoked. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to that video on how to download that. Uh, but if you guys did like this video, please go ahead and rate it, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and uh, give me a comment. What's your favorite N64 game? I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.